Hey, Jody here with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Today we're doing a downhill, downhill square groove weld. An eighth of an inch thick carbon steel set up with an eighth of an inch gap and we're running it downhill, single pass. Now, now that is not a very common joint that you would find anywhere in production or in the field, but it is a good practice joint. Some of, some of the people watching this video will at some point in time need to take a, a pipe test where they put a downhill route with MIG and then and then the fill and cap passes are uphill. I did years ago in a fab shop. 25 to 30 years ago I worked a fab shop and I was in there a while and one of the jobs they had going on was an automated setup where the pipe were on rollers about a 36 inch pipe or so and they were they were tack welding it with TIG, feathering the tacks, setting it up on the rollers and putting the root in slightly downhill. It was a stationary MIG torch. They put the root pass in and then they come back and put the fill and cap in slightly uphill. Same setup, short circuit MIG. Nothing fancy, no pulse spray, no fancy power source. It's not very common to do MIG pipe outside of a fab shop, but in a fab shop it is pretty common. And so later on, well, after I was there for several months, they, I had to go to the test shop and take the 5G MIG test. 5G is with the pipe like this in this position. And I had to put a downhill root pass in there and then fill and cap were uphill. And so I know it's done. I had to do it. So this, the, it, it's good to get some practice uh, on this eighth of an inch material because the skill that you need is to learn how to keep that arc in that sweet spot of the puddle right near the very leading edge as you're going downhill. That's the skill. You go too far ahead, you shoot wire through, you hang back too far in the puddle, you don't penetrate like you need to. So it's all, it's all about gun angle and stick out as well. You gotta have those just about right. A um, Little bit of forgiveness in there, but you gotta have them pretty close. So that's what we're doing today. We're, 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 we're welding some eighth of an inch thick plates and this will prepare somebody for having to put a downhill route in a pipe. The same settings you figure out will work on eighth of an inch thick plate with, with no bevel, square groove weld with an eighth of an inch gap. Those same settings will be pretty darn close to what will work on an open butt pipe joint downhill route. As long as it's got somewhere around a 35 degree bevel and your land is either feather edge or no more than a sixteenth, you'll be pretty darn close. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, Hey, and also it's just a good skill to have if you got, you know, if you're welding two inch square tubing or four inch square tubing or whatever, and you got a miter cut that's a little bit off, so you got an eighth of an inch gap that you got to fill up. It's the same skill zipping that thing downhill like that. So let's get into it. All right, I'm welding 11 gauge today, and I, I picked some default settings on this machine for 12 gauge. That's the closest thing to it, just to save a little time. See how that works. Looks like the gap I have there is just a little bit. A little bit wider than 1 8 maybe closer to 532 but I'm going to try it anyway and see where we go from here. I'm using 030 diameter wire and it looks like I'm kind of sort of hitching it forward just a little bit and then pausing that's just kind of an old habit kind of lets you know if you're on the front of that puddle without getting too far ahead but you can just do a steady steady drag Here's the backside view of it melting in there. All right, that's the first stab at it. We'll take a look at this thing and go from here and tweak the settings. All right, this is the, the face side, the side it was welded from. And as you can see, it's a little concave there in the middle. The root side, the penetration side looks a little better. It's actually pushed through just a little bit. That's some good information, but right now let's talk about what you have to do on a joint like this if you have to stop. See, that's the back side, penetration melting through there all the way through, and then we have to stop for some reason. Say I got a sneeze or you know I took an important call or whatever. Uh, you probably don't want to just light up on that thing and uh, without doing something. So we're going to grind a little bit. We're going to feather the end of it here and kind of make a little landing strip. Not a landing strip, actually. A, a, a little place to take off. Feathered it back a good probably five-eighths of an inch down in there pretty deep. And I'm going to start right here with the arc. And that gives it a chance to warm up and all melt together and blend together nicely. So this is the back side. Didn't take it long there with it thinned out like that to heat up 
and then it, it usually does a really good job of blending in, tying in. You see right there in the middle of the screen is the tie-in, and you can tell there's a little silicon deposit there, but it's a pretty good tie-in. All right, let's talk about shooting wire through the back side. This is always a problem when you're doing a joint like this. If you get ahead of yourself, you can shoot wire through there. If you're doing a pipe joint and you can't get access to the back side, that can be a pretty big problem. You do not want that. All right, I'm going to take the settings that I just that I just used. I'm going to try them on a little piece of beveled plate here. This is just quarter inch thick plate. I'm going to put about a 35 to 37 and a half degree bevel on it, just eyeballing it with very little very little land on it, maybe a 30 second. Gap it an eighth of an inch using a, a one eighth, eighth of an inch stick rod just as a gauge. And that's pretty close to an eighth right there. And we'll use 18. I dropped the voltage just 0.2. 18 and 230 inches a minute using 030 wire. And everything seems to be going good here. It's a nice smooth sound. Front side looks pretty good. But on the back side, on the penetration side, a little sunken in there in the middle. It's definitely blasted in there, no doubt about that, but it's a little concave in the middle. And just to see if I have any lack of fusion out near the, the uh, surface on the side it was welded from, I did a little cross section here. You know, a, a cut and etch is, is worth a thousand opinions sometimes. So for the time it takes me to cut and polish and put a little, uh, in this case I'm using a little stainless steel, steel passivation solution on here. You see it etches it really quick, but navel jelly also works just fine, just takes a little bit longer. And you see that brings out, that, that definitely brings out the weld versus the base metal. And it looks like we don't have any real problems there. You know, up on the front side, definitely looks like could have dug in a little deeper, but it looks it's, it's in there. So I'm going to bump up the wire feed speed and try one. I'm going to 260 inches a minute, 18 volts. Still using an eighth inch gap. Let's see how this compares to 230 inches a minute, see if it's better or worse. Looks great on the front side. Back side maybe even looks a little worse. A little wider, a little more concave in the middle. So this time I'm going to bump the voltage down, a whole volt down to 17, leaving the wire speed up there, 260. And we'll give you a back side view this time. Not much difference in the way the front side is going to look. Now it looks like it's going in a little bit better just initially, but you can't really tell until you until it's done. And it is better. It's definitely it's starting to protrude through, give me a little bit of root reinforcement now. So I would say I could tweak it just a little bit here and there, maybe even close my gap up a little, maybe monkey with the land just a little bit, and I, I would probably get a little bit better as I went because it definitely made some improvements here. So I guess I got to get hold of some pipe now and, and do that pretty soon. Well, come on in here. 